My god, look at the back on that. Dicky Minaj. Yo, guys, what is up with this video? I'm Rack 2. Junk food version 2. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. This is unfortunately one of my first, actually, second video. Watching, you know, the old one is out. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I am, I'm, I'm a noob. Um, see, this is actually gets me into like, new YouTube videos, new. I mean, hopefully it's good. I, I, I've watched that one, it's pretty good. So hopefully this one's good as well. I, okay. I think I, I can relate with junk food. Like, today I had, like, what did I eat today? Let me think, I'm just thinking, let me think. Uh, I think I had, like, a crap. A banana milkshake in the morning for breakfast. Some noodles. Some tea, what else do I have? Two donuts, a coke, two pancakes, and that's about it. Which is really healthy, really, really healthy. But I don't know. If that's you know, I'm, I don't know. What I'm doing. Okay, I made a video in so much. It's been like two days, but I'm back. So well, I wasn't really gone, but um, let's do the video. All right, three, two, one. Also, um, these headphones. I know, like a like a fire jet, fire jet. No, like a pilot. Driving the fire jet, running the fire jet, flying the fire jet, but I lost my other one, so I'm sorry, okay. But let's get to the video. Three, two, one. Today's video was sponsored oh, by carrots. We're actually oh. alright if you put other stuff on us. I wouldn't consider my I parents like carrots. health nuts, more like health kernels. They would never buy <laughs> unhealthy snacks, but they wouldn't force me and my siblings to go outside and play because it was always burning hot. And we just licked the melted candy off the sidewalk yeah. anyways. They would Big. never buy sugary- You guys see that back? Ah, uh, you can't- you can't tell me like- My god, look at the back on that. Dickie Minaj. The cereal my parents got was Honey Nut Cheerios. But my mom would mix the Honey Nut Cheerios with regular ones to make it more healthy or something. So I wow. would start every day spending 15 minutes picking <laughs> out the regular Cheerios from the cereal bowl. That's I right, mean, my parents didn't buy us cable, Cocoa Puffs, or candy. I, I can't even sucked. eat cereal in the morning. We were allowed to eat so much. cereal for one day out of the year, and that was on Christmas morning. It's mm. a fun tradition, and we still do it to this day. As a kid, I would always get jealous when my friends would pull out their Lunchables and tell me how much Ooh, their family ate out and all the sugary cereals they got to eat. Meanwhile, I had a PB&J sandwich on wheat bread with the crust still on, but it's okay because I like I mean, the crust. That's but calm. now looking back, I'm just oh. so grateful that my mom cared enough about my health to instill these healthy eating habits into me at a young age. I mean, I don't follow them anymore. He was crying with his mouth open like this, and she kissed him in the tongue. Y you guys are close. <laughs> Lol, I'm joking, joking. Because I live on my own, oh. and I don't know how to cook, and bagel bites taste so darn good. But I'm yep. still thankful my mom taught me what I should be doing. Now, if there's any parents watching this going, hmm, I like the way this James's mom character thinks. <laughs> good. I would recommend to all parents that you should be teaching your kids healthy eating habits as Stop. soon as possible. Stop I definitely it. didn't no. appreciate it at the time, but now that I'm older and wiser, I'm thankful that I like the taste of wheat bread. My parents had I mean, a saying, bread's not that the bad. wider the bread, the sooner you're dead. They would always get wheat yes. bread. Even for hot dog and I hamburger buns, they by, got uh, wheat. Some of you might have fourth. had to use sandwich bread as hot dog buns. You're poor. I get it. But at least you didn't have to use wheat bread. However, now that I live on my <laughs> own, I still get the wheat bread because I don't want to die young. I still have YouTube videos to make. Some yep. things never change, I guess. I feel Except you. I do get the white hot dog buns. The wheat ones are still gross. When I was a very little kid, my dad's work was throwing a barbecue get-together thing, and I got to eat as many hot dogs on white bread as I could handle. But the best part of it all was I got to wash it down with soda. Don't you hear when you have a lot of like long things in your mouth, right? <laughs> I think Cody would uh, especially be, you know, weighted up by that. Listen, I was very that, but... sugar deprived back home. Jesus. I had to catch up on all the <laughs> sugar I was missing out on. I don't remember what the soda was exactly, but let's just say for the sake of this story, it was Coke? an original bottle of Coke from the 1800s. It might as well have had cocaine because I was addicted to all the white powdery stuff they added into that drink. Pretty soon, my tummy started uh... to get the rumblies, and I had no idea what was causing it. So I told my dad, Dad, my Go tummy to hurts. And he said, hmm. It's probably because you're dehydrated. Here, have some soda. And I still respected my dad at that age and thought he knew what he was talking about, so I drank more soda. And then I threw up and my dad said, Ugh. We should leave. I mentioned this next story yep. in my first book, available in bookstores hmm. near you. Begin the look up for book number two, coming out Drink at the end coke. of March. But one time my mom bought a giant three-pound bag of Skittles. I forgot what she bought them for, but they definitely weren't for us. 
She locked them away in a closet because she knew what us kids would do Jesus if we got our fuck. grubby little hands on the Skittles. This we, wasn't the we, first time my mom had to hide diabetes. candy from us. But this time, she forgot to lock the closet, leaving the Skittles unprotected. Oh, God. And me and my older brother ate the entire thing. And we would have gotten away with it, Love but then mannequins. something came up. Puke. I threw up on the family room carpet. My mom saw how rainbow the throw up was and immediately put two and two together and knew that we had gotten into her Skittles. The funny part of this story is that my older brother got punished, but I didn't. Because according <laughs> yeah. to my mom, I had already suffered enough. And that's why that story is in the chapter titled Perks of my Being like, the Younger Brother. Anyways, yes, I love don't eat mix. so much candy that you throw up. Okay, I'm gonna be talking about Eminem. I think I should test that. Uh, if you eat like a lot of skills, like your puke is actually like rainbowish. Alright, that might happen. I might have to do, you know, do it after this video, but. Let's forget. Yeah, I might just try that. M's for a while, so to make it go so faster, bad. instead okay, of saying so thick, M's, I'm just gonna say mmm. In one of my older videos, I said that my favorite candy bar was mmm, and every time I would tell people that, <laughs> they would always say, That's not a candy bar. <gasps> I just. I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> but then something interesting happened. A year after that video was posted, they made a mm, actually released a bar version of their candy. So now I can absolutely say that mm, is my favorite candy bar and not get any weird looks. <laughs> Ew, Someone at the mm, marketing suck. team sent me a box of mm, candy bars and I think they wanted me to promote it, but because I said that mmms are my favorite candy bar, whenever I go to a convention, sometimes you guys bring me mmm candy, which is very thoughtful, but you know, I like other things too, like Oreos and Twix and money. You know, I'm just mm -hmm. saying you don't mm -hmm. have to nice, bring nice. Mm -hmm. all the time. When I was visiting London, I went to the mm store with my friends Adam and Mads. Oh, and I'm if you don't there. know about the, the London video. store, it's four stories tall, 35,000 square feet, and according to Wikipedia, the largest sweet store in the world. So it was kind of big. Once I stepped inside, kind my first that. thought was... Okay, yeah. this is too much. It was like the candy forest scene in Willy Wonka, except it was all <laughs> chocolate and expensive. In one part of the store, you can make pound. your own custom mmms with a picture and two phrases. So for the picture, I googled my cartoon self, held up my phone to the camera, and it bloody worked, mate. And for the phrases, I naturally work, wanted mate. to write something that was meaningful, so we wrote Mad Stinks and Adam I'm Smells. I'm, I'm but the mmm employee didn't allow us to write that DMs. because it was Mad Stinks wait, wait. and Adam Smells. But the did everyone in uh, this odd one anime, odd one out anime, have big backs? I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Slap all the bombs. Well. No, no homo. No homo. Employee didn't allow us to write that because it was Joking, okay. too Careful. negative and went against the mm brand. Mm -hmm. So knowing brand. we were not allowed to roast mm -hmm. each other, the next phrases we decided to print was "get mads" and something else YT. It wasn't creative, <laughs> but without being able to make fun of each other, we didn't have a lot to work with. James, but those really phrases like weren't allowed the either, out. because they were the names of some YouTubers, so they got flagged by the system, and they told us, you'll need permission from the YouTuber, even though you're both right here. Listen, boys, I'm just a mm, employee. I don't <laughs> yeah, want to get sued. On one hand, I'm glad that mm, has a system in place to prevent people from stealing, but on the other hand, it's just mmms! What do you think we're gonna do with them? So after Good, two know. failed attempts Dug at getting deal, the phrase we wanted, we settled on getting Adam and Mads! At least I still got my cannonball guy printed, even though technically this image is copyrighted, so mm, uh, you'll be hearing from my lawyers soon. One of the disadvantages <laughs> of being a YouTuber is see the lack of benefits. Fast. We don't Factor. even have dental. And with all the junk food I'm eating and the flossing I'm not doing, I should probably like see one. Mean. Can I confess yes. something? I didn't know yes. dentists were optional. I thought they summoned you to their offices like jury duty. That's what it felt like when I was a kid. I've never gotten a cavity though, at least not one that I know of. So at least I'm doing something right. At least I'm now comes yeah. the part of the video where I yeah. give you advice you have, on you eating healthy. No, you have a cavity. But you don't I'm have still one. working on that myself. And when I don't know what to eat, I can't help but biting down on a delicious carrot. Carrots are the most popular vegetable in the world, having been nominated as the best orange thing ever. Use code odd one next time you purchase a what carrot to get 5,000 free carrot points and a bunch of weird looks at the grocery store. Give yeah, your body yeah. the fuel it needs. You wouldn't pour soda in a car engine and expect it to run. Of course, that's not really the best metaphor to use because nah, is, you also is. wouldn't pour water into a car and expect it to run. I guess everyone drink gasoline oh. because cars and people are the same. But the point is, <laughs> you've only got one body, so you should take care of it. Hey guys, hope you enjoy- This is a nice video, I'm not gonna lie. See, that last message is very inspirational. I'm gonna do a line of coke in the bottom now. So, um... If you guys enjoyed the video, you know, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel.
subscribe to the other ones out. Oh, James, ah, I'm probably gonna write tomorrow's video. It's actually really funny, but if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, hit that like button, okay? Everything, I, mean, I think I said this already, but I, I have like some brain problem. Uh, see you guys next video. Peace.